So that's the, the sleep side. Hydration is super simple. It's whatever your body weight is, divide that in half, and that's how many ounces of water someone should be drinking minimum on a daily basis. And so, you know, I weigh uh, 180 pounds, and so every day I meet, my goal is to get 90 ounces of water per day. Now, climate is gonna adjust that a little bit, right? So here in Arizona where it's drier and it's hotter, you know, usually I'm gonna add probably anywhere between 15 to 20 ounces onto my water. So I'm usually shooting for 100 to 110 ounces. And that's if I'm not working out. Cause obviously if I go work out, I'm going to sweat more. And so we need to be repleting that as well. And usually I think we're doing half a liter per uh, hour of, or 250 to 500 depending, mLs uh, per hour of exercise. And so, so when most people, you talk to them, they're maybe getting 30 to 50 ounces of water per day. And you know, most people are at least 200 pounds, right, for, for guys. And so most people are just not getting enough water into their system. And now the kidneys are decently good at trying to adjust for that and reducing urine output, but it's long-term strategy. That's not the approach uh, that we wanna take because you can still be subclinically dehydrated. Your cells can be dehydrated. Your fascia can be dehydrated. Your joints can be slightly dehydrated and all that can contribute to the perception of pain.